Hi everyone, this is another episode of Realistic Real Estate with Sarah Schultz. And look, I look like I have <laughs> a tree as my hair. It's just a backdrop, but look at where it sits. I think that's really cool. Um, actually, I'm here today just to talk about, um, you know, my experience with the market right now. Um, so I'm Sarah from Schultz Realty. Uh, my main core area is postcode 4207. So Lee, Mount Warren Park, Bath, Scrubs, surrounding areas, uh, even postcode Thania, um, you know, acreage around the outskirts. Um, that sort of basically is the area that I'm referring to. Uh, so at the moment I sell around a hundred houses a year. Um, and I thought I really wanted to touch base. Obviously, um, the media gets onto the TV and they talk about the market and uh, everyone listens. And I'm not going to take away from what they've got to say because I don't really know a lot about the Sydney and Melbourne market. But I do feel that when they do go on TV like that, they are isolating the majority of their comments to the Sydney and Melbourne market and forgetting about the rest of the world, the rest of the country. Oh, my God, the rest of the world. The rest of the um country and obviously I think every sort of group of suburbs is going to have their own story like I think the Gold Coast would be different to the Sunshine Coast would be different to Logan would be different to Ipswich would be different to and that's just in our area let alone these other areas um so has the interest rate rises and all that affected my market area look uh, I think be, before February like sort of January February March we were still coming out of that period where you were seeing 40 to 60 groups at a property and anything from five to 25 offers on a property. And to be honest, it was too many. Um, it was obviously amazing um, from a seller's perspective. I'm not taking away from that. But, you know, there was also a lot of really disappointed buyers all the time. And that was really heartbreaking as well, because obviously we can't sell the house 25 times to the one person. And there was only so much listings that we had. Um, but those properties were just getting astronomical numbers, some like out of the realm of what would, you know, be, I guess, what would have been market for the property, even at the highest point was more than the highest point, because just, you know, if people really wanted it, and they were fighting for it, there was just so much competition. So I really felt for the Buyers at that same stage as well, um, because there's only so there's only a limited amount of houses that we had available. Um, so realistically, to me now, the market for me in my areas and the houses I'm selling, I definitely have not seen a loss in price. The prices have not gone down. The difference being that um, you know, in an offers over situation where those ones, because there were so many offers, you might have gotten 70 to 100,000 over, which you were not expecting and no one was expecting, but it was just so many offers. They're still getting over asking with the average is probably 30 to 50. Um, but the price point that they're still selling for is not a reduced amount to what it was before, if that makes any sense. Um, it's just, you're getting five to 15 at an open house and maybe one to four or five offers but I'm still finding that the buyers that do come are solid buyers buyers that are actually in the market genuinely looking not a lot of lookers that aren't there for no reason um, and they're still selling in my opinion for really good prices so yes it has impacted that massive amount if anything I'd probably say less investors less less Sydney Melbourne buyers investing here. I'm not saying that they're not still there because they are. I'm definitely still selling to them, but not to the degree that it was in February, in March. Um, but hey, it's giving opportunity to people who are looking for houses to live in. Uh, I guess it's opened that up a little bit more for those people. Um, you know, I think there's still a bit of a rental crisis everywhere. But again, I think every area has their own thing going on in that regard as well. Um, I haven't had a lot. I don't do rentals. Uh, I only do sales in my agency. So I don't really hear a lot about that. So I can't comment too much. We have sold quite a few with tenants in them and the majority of them have been able to find other properties. No problem. I haven't had any issues in that regard. Um, but yeah, like I said, there would be some, I'm not saying to anyone out there, if you have had a problem that you haven't had one, I'm just saying my personal experiences, um, haven't had too much negativity in that regard. So yeah, that's my take. I think it's, um, still good. I think it's, um, still a good time for sellers. 
um, to sell. And um, yeah, I think the market's still going pretty good. So I'm Sarah from Schultz Realty and that's my opinion on realistic real estate with Sarah Schultz. <laughs> See you next time.